Hello everyone. Okay, understanding the self GE1 students, please pay attention and listen carefully to this instructions for you on how to join the Google Classroom and also how to send your module answer on Google Classroom. Okay, first you will do guys is to sign in with your email address on your email account or your email account on Gmail. Okay, example, I will log in my email account. Okay, here, if you have already signed in your email address or email account in Gmail, okay, you can see the square dots at the upper right side corner of your email. Or you can, in the cell phone, the, the, the three lines, I think that's three lines. Okay, you can click that. Okay, then choose classroom. Okay, now in the upper right side again corner, okay, beside the square dots, again, you can see the plus, the plus sign. Okay, please click the plus sign and that's to create and join a class. So, if you will click that, you can see join class or create class. So, join class, please click join class. Now, to join GE1 Understanding the Self Google Classroom, we need to have the class code. Where is the class code? I have already sent it in GC, your Google link and the class code. Okay, now, let's copy the class code that I have given you in the GC. So, example, here I will copy this one. Now, paste the class code in the join class interface. At the upper right side corner, you can see the button join. Okay, click the button join. That's the way you can join already to the Google Classroom. So, this is the interface of the Google Classroom that I have created, GE1 Understanding the Self, Section A and B. Now, in this classroom, you can see the assignments that I have posted, which is the Module 1 Answers, right? Okay. Please click the blue button, okay, in the Module 1 Answers to see the instructions. Okay, now the interface will appear. And the instructions here is please send your answer here. Then watch the video on how to send your answer. You can write your answer in the document files or write on a sheet of paper and take a picture or scan of your answer. Okay, example, you have written already your answer in your paper. Then be sure that it is clear. Take a picture on it. It is clear, clear and readable. Okay? The, or you can scan that answer if ever you, you have already written your answer in a sheet of paper, handwritten, okay? You can take the picture on that or scan that or save that as file, okay? And also, you can print also the module. Pwede po din yung i-print ang module din. Katong nasa module lang, dito rin yung ansiran din mo, yung picturean, yung i-save as a file, okay? Or... You can use Microsoft Word documents or dito ninyo ansiran ang inyo hanga answer ang inyo hanga ansiran sa module kay dito ninyo ansiran ang inyo hanga module sa documents then save it as a document file now in the upper in the right side corner again you can see your work assigned meaning this is your work assigned to you and you must Add or create. Once you have already assigned your, once you have already answered your module and it is saved already in your in your documents, please click add or create. Now in add and create, you can see link, file, Google Drive, docs, slides, and sheets and drawings. If you have already written your your answer in the paper, handwritten or uh, document file which is word document okay please click file okay 
then browse you can see you can search your the save file of your answer example that's picture so please choose picture here okay open Okay, it is already uploaded, your picture. You can add also, if your picture, if you have many picture of your answers, so you can add also many picture in your file. Okay, now you can also attach here the file which is documents okay example your documents is brief intro or any here or documents please open Okay, lang siya. Sana ato ra ni cancel. Let's let's choose another one. Or example, a file. Browse a documents. Here. Let's choose kanang gaan gaan ra siya. Okay. Now, you have already chosen, uh, you have already uploaded your work in a file, either it is picture or a documents. You can see here, turn in. Okay. You can also use docs. Okay. This create new. Create new meaning you are to answer that in a Google documents. This Google documents that I have opened, Wala pa ni siya unod because you need to open it to answer, to write your answer here. Okay? See? Hawan pa siya, wala pa siya unod. So, if ever you are, uh, you want to create a new documents or Google documents here, and diri rang ni mo siya ansiran, module 1 answers. So, mora ni siya, diri ni mo siya ansiran. And don't forget to, Turn in after you have answer. If you turn in ni mo siya, then wala, wala answer. So, ha, wala na siya unod ma, receive na ko. Okay? Please click turn in. Okay? So, turn in your work. Na siya inananggi kuan or pwede po niyo siyang i-cancel. Pwede po ito niyong i-turn in. Kani siya, diri po ka pwede nga maka-turn in. Basta maklik lang yung turn in o ready na ninyo i-submit inyo hanga work. Ang tanan na, na dira tanan. Please turn in. Okay? If, dili, if mo usob po mo, usbo ninyo, inyo lang i-delete ni. Okay? I-delete na ninyo ning mga kuandere if delete na siya mao. Okay? Please click turn in. After finished, ready na siya. Tanan ninyo nga kung unsure na dyan mo nga i-submit. Click turn in. Now, mabalik na siya gyapon ang turn in your work. Okay, turn in. Okay, by turning in, meaning you are already submitted your assignment. And you will see the unsubmit button. Okay, the unsubmit button is, is intended for you to to unsubmit, meaning to change your answer or to erase your answer once it is not already graded. So, pwede pa na ninyo siyang ma-usob ang inyong answer once it is not already graded. Okay? But, once lang ta, maka-turn in. Okay? So, once lang ta, maka-turn in. If, na -na siya, if wala siya'y unod, i-notify lang ta mo if wala siya'y unod. Okay? So, now, let's go back to the teacher's or instructor's interface. So, Sharita Elison has already turned in 
he, her work, her module answer. Now, let's go to the instructor's interface sa classroom. Okay, here. So, I will check if Charita Elation has already turned in. Okay, now, Charita Elation has three attachments attachments here. So, let's see if three ba jod. So, one, two, three. Three jod ang yahang gisen nga attachment. Okay, so, you can see turn in here, the green one. So, if I will click that, I can see your work. Here. So, the first one, the second one. And, diriko mag-check sa inyong nga answer sa inyong nga module and the grade is here. For example, Sharita's work is 90 over 100. So, I will give the grade here. 90 over 100. Okay? So, if nagrade na na siya na ko, I have already given the grade here. I will click return. Okay? So, if na-return na na siya na ko, meaning that is already graded. Okay, return. Okay. Now, let's go back to the student's classroom. Okay? So, here. This one. Okay. Now, you can see 90 here. And that's already graded. You can see graded here already. Meaning, your work is already graded and already checked. Here. If wala pa na siya, na-return na ako, pwede po ka ka resubmit. Okay? Resubmit. Turn in na po. Okay? But, dili na na siya ni mo i-resubmit because na, nabalik na man na siya ni mo. Na naman siya ni mo. Graded naman siya. Okay? So, I think that's clear sa inyo ha? To, on how to send your answer on a Google Classroom. And also, guys, please explore your Google Classroom. This is your classwork, your module answer, already graded na siya. Okay, then view assignment. You will go back to the interface of the assignment. Now, people, okay. You can also view your classmates. Okay, as of now, 26 students are, are already joined. So, I am expecting nine, 90, 90 plus students here to join the class. Okay, so I think it's clear for you. Please send me private chat or in a group, in a... In my Facebook Messenger, please send me uh, your clarifications, questions, and any suggestions. Please do not comment or do not send chat to our GC or do not send questions to our GC. Please send or chat me directly. Okay, that's all, guys. Thank you for listening and I hope.